Welcome to this tutorial for administrators using DRDP Online 2023. This tutorial is about managing enrollment. Managing enrollment includes transferring children, re-enrolling children, and withdrawing children. And it's important to note that to do any of these, you must have an administrative role, such as teacher of record plus enrollment, site administrator, agency administrator, lead agency administrator, data entry analyst, and family child care provider. If you're not sure, after logging in to DRDP Online, choose User Profile in the upper right, and there you can check your roles within DRDP. At the main menu on the left, select Manage Enrollment. In the drop-down, select Search and Manage Enrollment. This takes you to the Manage Enrollment screen. In this first example of managing enrollment, we'll look at how to transfer children from one class or site to a different class or site. First, you want to select the filters, including your rating period and classroom. And then on the lower right, click Search. After selecting Search, we receive three options in the blue rectangles, Transfer, Re-enroll, and Withdraw from Agency. It's important to note the differences between these three options. Transfer is for children being moved from one site or class to a different site or class, or for a whole classroom to be moved to a different site. So for Julia, we'll select Transfer, and now we have the option to transfer Julia to a different rating period, or keep her in the same rating period, but transfer her to a different site or class. In this case, for Julia, we'll select a different class and then Transfer Child, and Julia will now be moved to a different class. Transfers can also be done in batch by selecting more than one child at a time. The second option under Manage Enrollment is to re-enroll children. The definition for re-enroll in DRDP Online is that you are moving a child or group of children from one class to that same class in a different rating period. Re-enroll can be done as a batch for the entire class, or it can be done for individual children. So we can select all of these children and select re-enroll. And if we do not have a classroom created already to re-enroll the children into, we'll get a pop-up before transferring or re-enrolling children. So it's important that the classrooms and sites have been created first. For more information on how to create a class, please see our tutorial, Adding Classes. In order to re-enroll children from one class to that same class, just in a new rating period, select All, select Re-enroll, and now this group of children that were in Spring 23 rating period are now re-enrolled to the same class in the Fall 23 rating period. The final example under Manage Enrollment is to withdraw a child or multiple children from your DRDP online account. This is something you would do, for example, if a family was moving away. You can withdraw children one at a time by selecting the boxes to the left of their names and then selecting Withdraw from Agency. Here's where you must enter a reason that you are withdrawing the student or child and the date of the withdrawal. Entering the date of withdrawal means the child will not show up in your rating page. Simply select Withdraw, and now the child has a withdrawal date. And now this child is available for other agencies to enroll them. Withdrawal can also be done by selecting all of the children and following the same steps. Thank you for joining this tutorial on how to manage enrollment in DRDP Online 2023.